morning everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for being here i really appreciate that so behind me is a, a herb uh, it's supposed to bloom during the fall season but it is blooming right now so i i don't know so the name of the tree is a herb a fall cherry is supposed to be and um but it's blooming <laughs> it has its own rules okay so today I'm going to take you on a March garden tour. Perhaps I'm going to do two parts of it because the, the garden is blooming and blooming and changing and uh, on an exponential, I would say exponential level. So perhaps I'm going to do part two. Let us just see <laughs> how I'm, I'm going to put this video in together. So today we are going to uh, take a walk, a little walk, an exercise and see i have seen some daffodils some uh, trees has already blooms also the almonds are blooming so let's go and have fun watching Goodness, it is so windy outside. My hands are freezing. Okay, we are now in the greenhouse and I'm going to show you an update of the greenhouse. What I have planted and how are the seedlings growing. So from the cellar, we transferred some seedlings already here um, outside so that they can grow and have more light. So I'm going to show you that also. And I have some radician, some salad planted and our canas and callas we have placed also in the pot so that they can start uh, making roots growing and later on uh, when the weather is better um, suitable for them to be placed outside and we will be planting them also so I'm going to show you a quick video of that so here are my seedlings the cappuccino creza I have here the cosmos they are all growing oh one is about to flower look at this one it's about to flower and I have my bifus my herbs here so the sweet uh, sweet peas what we did was um, to, to cut the tip we cut the tip of the sweet pea here so that they will grow branch uh, they will grow here at the sides and they will be more stable later 
when they are planted outside because sometimes here in our area uh, the winds can be strong and we need more stable plants to withhold the wind also um, that's the broad beans already about half a meter high growing the broad beans and here uh, what is it mustard the mustards those are the mustards i still have some salad some cough salad to be planted so i seeded all of this you know when i have the video sowing seeds in winter so they are growing very well now and some more cappuccino creza and here the marigold are also growing and here below I have started planting so I have two by first place I have the marigold because marigold is very good for insects so they are a very good plant for companion here so uh, sometimes when you have the greenhouse there will be some flies that will grow and the marigold will help them. So these are, I have planted the salad outside and those little things here. This is the radician. You know, when you eat in a five-star restaurant and you see that a uh, little uh, topping or uh, on your food that is red and white, that's the radician. And these are here and look at, I think they're growing inside. Look at this. So I have just scattered them around and later I will be harvesting and here is what I was talking about that is the canas and the kala so we have in this garden a tropical tropical island so to say we have a flower bed only for tropical plants and we have here the dahlias also are all in the plants and I have them so when we when I have them labeled accordingly the colors and how how tall they are it's also here so you can see the label here Dahlia yellow small blooms 0.5 meter so that when we place them outside then the lengths of the plants are coordinated and it will create a good flow in the garden so I have here and here I still have also my salad so I really didn't have a plan to lay out because they will be harvested fast anyway and over there are some more radician and above here we have some um, yes some pots so we wanted to put our herbs here above so it's all over here it's raining outside that I am here inside the greenhouse under the shelter so here I still have a salad I don't have a place for them so I'm going to give them away to our neighbors and let's see and here is a sensor uh, can I focus it sensor push that's our greenhouse sensor look at this even inside the greenhouse the snowdrops are blooming
there's it. It's the tulips. How nice. So I'm so happy they're out. They're the first to come out now. I hope you enjoyed the tour today and by the way I have written in the description box some of my social media platform accounts if you want to send questions or you want to send me mail or queries that you don't want to write publicly in the comment section so kindly check it out and send me your messages and I would be very glad to read them thank you once again and that's it for today bye bye